Are we on the same page or a different book? Different book? Shit, we're on a different book, probably. Which book? <laughs> Karl Marx. Okay. Oh. Okay. Woo, girl, my connection is bad right now. It is not happy. As soon as I fucking went live, this shit was immediately going red. God damn. Anyways, yo, welcome in, everybody. <laughs> Welcome in, Clinny. Welcome in, Troubler. Welcome in, Jakara. Congrats to Zen also on getting first. Golden tickets? What's going on with the golden tickets? Welcome in, Kitty Game. What did it say? You need a golden ticket. How the fuck I ain't get one? Not this. An hour timer now. I know. It resets. I wish it wouldn't, but like, I don't know. It's free. I found it online, so I'm like, I'm gonna keep using this. <laughs> but yeah, welcome in, y'all. What did the girl? I didn't even throw, throw a fucking ball for it. Damn. Well, how plenty? How do you keep getting all the all the extra loot? What is this? A scale or something? Damn, I want loot. Anyways, <laughs> welcome in, y'all. Oh, let me fix this. Uh, uh, no, I'm trying to back down. Anyways, welcome in, y'all. Hope y'all are doing well. I got I can barely hear all this music. Let me turn this down from the ear. Okay, probably to write Pokey to Great Ball. What? It didn't say anything about the Great Ball message. Oh, I just saw it. It said you don't own that ball. Check your extension. Oh, I have to buy more. Wow. Oh, damn, lol. I didn't even notice. <laughs> I didn't see that response at all for the, from the bot. Damn. But no, wait. Oh, oh, you don't have regular Pokeballs either. Oh, 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 okay. I see. Yeah. Okay. I see. Damn. What are the Poke tickets about? I don't know what the Poke ticket is. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, what was I gonna say? Well, anyways, welcome in everybody. Uh, this in my wait a minute, my chat bot. My chat bot ain't chatting. What's the deal? The messages aren't popping up, uh, unless I did and I missed it somehow. No, see, they're not popping up. What the heck? Let me see. I hope I put this back on refresh. Um, sorry, Traveler. If I had seen it, I would have told you sooner. Aw. Okay, and we'll have another chance in 15 minutes when the next Pokemon shows up. All right, and... Yeah, that should be fine. And my connection has been, like, real shitty. Like, I don't know what the deal is. As soon as I went live today, like, it was already acting up. It's not, it's, I mean, it's not my computer generally acting fucky, but no. Um, I don't know what the deal has been. It's been acting real funny. Anyways, welcome in, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I honestly did not know what to do for today's stream. Like, I sort of have some activity I'm, like, planning on doing or looking forward to talking about or discussing some capacity, but I don't really have that going on. 
How do I access the extension? Extension. Oh, um, if you're on mobile, there should be like at the top of the chat to the right, upper right of the chat, above the, uh, I don't know, gifted sub things. There should be different extensions. You click on the icon, it should show a number of different ones. And um, and it's showing you a couple of the different extensions. One should be OPC. Ah, let me see. <laughs> Do I never watch, I never watch streams on, I never watch streams on fucking, uh, on the computer. Um, let me see, I'm looking right now. I probably should stop because probably gonna make my computer explode, but, hmm, mm, mm, okay. Okay, okay, um, okay. Plan exp explaining it. I was like, girl, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> It'll be under me. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, welcome in, Tira. Everybody, we must do a congratulations for your big sister who um, not only graduated therapy on Wednesday, but also um, worked the full two weeks of work, working full time. The first, uh, her first full two weeks, first full two weeks paycheck is on the way. Some hype in the chat. Yippee. Yeah, the best thing to do when my connection is bad is to throw a bunch of things on the screen. That's okay. <laughs> Thursday. Ah, dang it. Oh, right, you did reschedule. Okay. Under the about section commands, all the way down, you'll be the existing section. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're looking at that part. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, you're right. I did rearrange it. Yeah, I put my shit all the way at the bottom. Sorry, girl. Sorry, girls. I don't fucking know. I put my shit all the way at the bottom. I have not rearranged my panels in such a long time. I, sometimes I used to have them at the very top, but I was trying to be extra. And so you have to go all, scroll all the way down to find the, the, all the little panels I was hiding. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. She had working really hard and shit. And she's been really like exhausted. But I know we'll be seeing the fruits of our labor. And, you know, it took some, it took a lot, it's a lot to get used to now. Like, it's obviously like exhausting. Switching over to full time. Welcome in. Welcome in, Alatera. Welcome in. Oh, oh, extension. Yet, yet, uh, I already have a growlet. You already have a growlet. <laughs> wow. I think like, you got to do pokey check first before you throw. Um, but no, um, but no, it's been like difficult trying to adjust to being full time and to like work means hours, but also like to do a full two weeks of work without calling out, especially after the shit that we've been through and stuff. It's it's been tough. I mean, obviously, when we were living in a shelter, it wasn't necessarily much of an issue because we had nowhere else to go. Aside from work, I mean, we have places, I guess, but like, not really. And so now that we have the option to, I don't know, stay home and like rest, sleep, then it like makes it a lot, that much more difficult to justify, especially when you're feeling like shitty or feeling bad, like to get into work and shit anyway. But either way, I'm even more proud of her for doing all of that and for, you know, caring for herself while she did that too. She's been like reading books and stuff like that, catching up on, on like some of her favorite manga. So she just finished Demon Slayer. Well, I guess technically we both finished Demon Slayer. And I'm not ready to talk about it. Um, but either way, she just finished Demon Slayer and <laughs> has been um has been doing that and also playing a couple different games as of lately. I know, I mean, you finished it like maybe like a week or more or something ago. More than a couple more than a couple weeks ago. But Tierra played through all of Ocarina of Time and already beat the game. Like she did that like I don't know how long ago that was. I think it's probably a span of a week or something. I don't know. But she played all through like Ocarina of Time and beat it. Which, like, that game is hard. What the fuck? Like, now I know they used to have cheat codes and, like, guides to, like, help people with games. The printed guide books on how to get through certain parts of games. Because y'all were playing too much. Nuh-uh. Not on the Tesla 64 controller, I won't. Not one thing is on a cartridge I can easily gank out and throw across the room. Mm-mm. Y'all doing too much of these games. It's a little too busy. A little too difficult. I can't believe, like, nine-year-olds in the 1980... Wait, no, what the... Not in one, I don't know. We're like playing through this game like normally. Uh uh. This shit, this shit is way, way too busy. Mm mm. I mean, especially considering like, I don't know, it can't even take a while for me to get through, but like, it's so much to do. This is so different from other, other, other games. Like, this shit's hard. Yeah. Yeah. This is some nice things to her. <laughs> Darkly had me fucked all the way up. That's wild. Bitches were obsessed with Dark Link. Like, he was really just a shadow version of Link. And the three polygon figure that really was Dark Link, people went and took, like, all the way. They, people were, like, I remember as a kid being on DeviantArt. I, I was, like, trying to, I was on the internet 
trying to look at videos for Twilight Princess and like bitches on Deviant aren't really obsessed with like Dark Link. It was wild. Like they could not get enough of that bitch. And the bitch ain't even a bitch. You don't even he's not even real. <laughs> they were obsessed. It was wild. But no. Um what was I gonna say? I don't remember. What did I say about the live message? Oh, well, yeah, first and foremost, well not first, secondly or thirdly, Darkling could step on me. Not this. <laughs> and then to, to for all these Dark Link iterations or whatever to have existed, and then to see like the Dark Link skin and I don't know, something some of the Dark Link skin and Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom just is it's giving baby. I don't know what it is about it. It just feels like a baby. Like he Link, it looks a little, he's a little too much tw too twink in this in this particular game to really be giving the real like the, the original Dark Link. Like I don't know. It just wasn't giving the same way that it used to. He's a little he looks like a baby almost in these like Ocarina of Time skins. It's kind of funny. Either way, I mean, technically, he's probably the same age as he was before, back then. If anything, he's probably... No, no, yeah. He's 14. Anyways, it's, it's something about it is it's not giving the same way that it used to give. Regardless. <laughs> um, should I talk about... Oh, yo! Like, y'all, um, if y'all keep following social media and follow on social media, um, we've been fundraising for rent for the past week, essentially. And honestly, like, last time we fundraised for bills while we, we moved in here, we did not come close to our goal. We ended up having... I don't know. I think my paycheck or something like that ended up showing up. And so I was able to like, we were able to make kind of make it do what it do, but we really didn't reach our goal. Um, but this time around, we actually did reach our funders a goal. So yay. I'm really glad about that. And all the extra money that we do have, you know, from paychecks and things, will at least be able to go toward like groceries and food and other necessities. Because to be honest, if it's a very small and like, barely their paycheck I was getting anyway if that had to all go toward rent we would be like struggling I mean I didn't have any I mean Tiara didn't have money for the bus this week last week I mean like it would have really 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 been tough to, to get through also because like I'm like girl when am I gonna get a Twitch payout like I feel like I've been getting plenty of plenty there's been plenty of subs stuff like that like I did the Twitch the y'all change something what happened like it's been like months I have not got a Twitch payout I'm like what are, what are y'all doing back there Y'all still you're still so, so working on it? You're still so cooking on it or something? I don't fucking get it. But no. I mean, I know I've been as active in streaming as much as I used to, so which is why it's not happening as frequently. But I'm like, now girl, I feel like there's been plenty of plenty of subs and things like that. Like, y'all couldn't even like squeeze 50 50 out of that at the path of threshold. <laughs> I don't know. But regardless, it's still nice that we're having these consistent paychecks, because that's nothing I've I'm used to. Obviously, we've been working for a couple months now, but even this, this hack keeps sliding up, turning into a fucking an, a, an elf, I'm trying to keep it round. Anyway, um, but no, it's not something I'm used to by any means. Um, and even though we've been working for however many months, it's still just like, damn, what do I do about this paycheck thing? Like, now now that we are getting paychecks regularly, I'm like, these aren't regular enough for me. But then again, I was just working two jobs while I'll get paycheck every week. And even then, it still did not feel like it was frequent enough. Like, <laughs> or maybe it just wasn't enough money. I don't know. But regardless, damn, that's something. <laughs> but no, we have, I have another, I just, because we have the goal here on screen, I just keep whatever little stinking goal we have, but I just have another goal, just exclamation point broke, um, you know. But um, that's my current coffee goal because I took down our last one after we reached our goal. But yep, that's that's there. Um, also, for those of you who weren't in our last stream, I do have a new uh, coffee alert. Um, I Folks who have seen it have really enjoyed it and shit. I think it's funny, but yeah. The bi-weekly text will have you eating sleep for dinner that second week. It's not even the second week, though. Like, it's, it's like, always going toward bills and shit. It's, like, wild. For me, when I was working weekly, I wasn't getting really big checks. I stopped getting small checks every week. But the, the, the annoying part was that while that was happening, I was like, okay, this is nice. I like this. I enjoy this. But, like, the, the situation with the checks, I guess, was that, like, it was always going toward something. Either we were running low on food and things and I'm to kind of re-up that shit every like week, every other week or something like that. Or it was like another bill or something coming up. Like it's, I we've only been living here for like, I mean, almost two months. Wait, no, we've even been living in this, ho in this hotel. Oh my God. In this apartment for even two months yet. Just like literally one in some, in some month, one in a piece of a month. And like, I'm still trying to get accustomed to all this shit. It feels like I should have already had it together by now, but I'm also like, we were literally homeless for the past four months before this so i'm trying to not be like a stupid bitch when it comes to being like well why aren't things better why do i still have to like fundraise or why are things still so hard and it's like because it is like 
it doesn't just magically get easy now that we are in better circumstances, unfortunately. Anyways, I'm trying to remind myself of that. Um, but also, like, you know, give myself some grace, too, when I'm feeling, like, frustrated about our financial situation not being what I want it to be. Um, which, speaking of, I actually, which is something that some advice I had heard years ago from a podcast. Also, like, typically sound financial advice, not just, you know, I'm not listening to the fucking Joe Budden podcast and trying to invest my shit into, like, I don't know, ETH or whatever the fuck, Ethereum. I'm like, um, I heard, like, they're talking about, like, oh, putting your, what's this? A pin kitchen is in the chat. Wait, where's the Pokemon game about? Okay. <laughs> but, um, you made the point of, like, having a big account, or checking account, I mean, just for bills. So instead of having all your bills come out of all of your check account where all your money deposited into um, to have a separate one and like it's essentially a more passive way of your bills getting paid because the money just goes into that account and then the bills come out of it too. You don't have to kind of make the conscious effort. But then obviously if you have to have your shot on auto pay, which I prefer to do auto pay. Um, but regardless, that's like one way to be able to kind of pay your bills but not feel like all your money's getting fucking siphoned out. But also you don't like overspend or spend past how much you actually have for your bills and things and so i've been wanting to do that for a while but our current bank is um kind of booty kind of ass and for a number of reasons and i've been wanting to leave this bank for a while and um a credit union had got recommended to me um recently and i'm like you know what credit union that's not a little it's a little cute you know it's a little different um i've not had one before and i'm like oh you know gotta apply to be a member all other shit like all kinds of things that go into it but to be honest I'm my main goal is for one getting away from this current bank, but then also just making sure that we can get our bills situation handled so I don't have to like feel like stressed about how much money I'm spending or how much money I have set aside for bills, but then also having a savings account set up again. Make trying to escape. Nobody caught it. Aw. You got lucky this time. Damn. <laughs> um, but no. What was I saying? But yes, beyond that. Um, I haven't had a savings account in a long time, like in years, actually. I was actually using an app called Capital before this, um, and I no longer use the app. I had it in the past, and I, I got rid of it, um, because one, it's not a free app, you have to pay for it, which is fine, but the, they switched stuff over. I guess they were tired of getting fees taken out of their, like, money they're making from the Google Play Store. So instead of actually charging you, you know, your card to Google Play for whatever your service you're getting, Decided to start taking the money out of your savings. Like, so I'm putting money out of my savings account toward our savings goal in the app. They started taking money out of my savings goals in the app. And I'm like, they're not doing it like, okay, we're going to take it from this. They're taking it from whatever regular savings goal they want. And it's horrible because I'm setting aside money to put into here. I could reach my goal and you guys literally take $6 out of my savings goal to put into your own pocket with no fees because, you know, essentially the money is already there. And they didn't used to be like that. They used to just take their money from Google Play. Clearly, they're being a little like, okay, want more of my coins, so we're going to go ahead and stop. That shit really pissed me off. I'm like, how are you taking money from my savings goals? And when I asked, can you guys, like, can we, like, make a determination on, like, which account y'all are taking us from or something? They're basically like, no, it's completely random. And that's, that's our only, like, method right now. We don't, there is no, like, you know, paying through Google Pay and stuff like that. That's just how it is. And I'm kind of like, that is fucking trifling. Not to mention, like, the process of, you can't access your money. Because I get money laundering is a thing that happens, especially with apps like this. And so they are kind of like, okay, so in order to avoid that, you can't just access your money right away. You can access, like, 10% of your balance type shit. And I'm like, um, okay. Like, they, they will sometimes, it's like a unique app in that, like, it can, let's say, like, if I am trying to save money on buying fast food. And so um, every time I don't, every ten dollars all the money i save that i would have i would usually let's say i have a budget of, of ten dollars i spend at um domino's pizza which uh do not support domino's pizza they are we're um what's the word um god boycotting so yeah don't support domino's so let's say i have a budget of ten dollars per week at domino's pizza and i do not want to i want to save money and so basically anytime i don't spend ten dollars at domino's pizza they put it into um they put that money essentially into um the savings goal it's like oh okay cool it'll actually do it itself so i don't have to go transfer ten dollars out of my own bank account or something like that essentially we'll recognize that from my spending and then be like oh okay, cool we'll, we'll do that but it would sometimes trigger wrongfully 
And I would be like, yo, I can't, I need to cancel that. And you like can't cancel it. And then even when it does finish and actually transfer to your account, you still have to wait a couple more days of it sitting there before you can actually access it. And I was kind of like, girl, are y'all for real? Like, it was a lot. And there's, I had a couple of gripes with them, but I've used an app called Flex before. You pay a portion of your rent up front and the remaining half, like halfway through the month, so it's not as hard on you. That's what I recently have been using. Oh, really? Interesting. I've never heard of that. Is, is it a rent payment app particularly? I wonder if that's the thing that every property accepts or... Aww. <laughs> Congratulations on being bad bitches. <laughs> Welcome to Tricky. Oh, thank you so much for, for resubscribing. Got 19 months. Whoa, that's a long time. Like almost two years. April, May, May, June, July, August, September. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Almost two months. That's wild. Well, welcome in. Talk about um, saving money and stuff like that. A year and a half. Yeah. Oh, that is like a year and a half. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's wild. I didn't even think about that. But no, I have not used, I've not heard of Flex. I would like that. That'd be really cool. Like my way of getting around that or doing kind of similar, that similar thing is just putting, you know, have much money from every paycheck into that checking account um, so that, you know, bills and other things like that could essentially be already covered in that bank account. And so when they do auto pay and come out, then it essentially would like come out of that account like automatically. And so like, it'd be such like doing what Flex does in which I like the idea of that and app being able to do that for you. I'd like to know to what capacity it would do it, but I'm also kind of like, mm, I don't know. I just, something about these apps that are supposed to help you save money by saving the money for you, putting it into their own system and your, also your money being inaccessible. I mean, to a certain extent, obviously it wouldn't be as accessible for me because it's a checking account that's not, I don't, I don't have a you know, debit card attached. It's just, you know, purely for bills. But it's just like, I don't know, something about it. I'll save the transfer money out in order to access it for the most part, which is supposed to help with not spending it, which I'm not necessarily, I don't feel like I have a problem with spending money. Like that is not, I have the opposite issue, which why I'm probably not spending it like frivolous, frivolously enough, which is bad because you work hard so that you can spend money on things you want. And that's probably, that's probably been really frustrating for me personally. That's probably the most frustrating part about having this apartment and no longer being homeless and shit. It's also just like, wow, I feel like I barely have enough money to actually spend, to buy things. Like, when it's not going toward bills, it's going toward groceries, other necessities. Like, I'd like to be able to spend it on things I, like, want or something. You know, that'd be nice. <laughs> but, yeah. Like, one year and seven months. Wow. Oh, I'll keep it. Duh. I'm like, wait, only four months of the year. Duh. It wasn't even September. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Whoa. Oh, man. Or March, when I'm in April. Yeah, okay. I have a money spending problem and me being my own, being on my own has worsened it. See, I, I don't know. I feel like for a long time I've had so little money or well, generally speaking my entire life, I've never really had much money anyway. And so I've not really been in the habit of like actually spending it. Even when I was like, there's a point in time where I was working at a grocery store in like 2018 and was working, you know, full time hours. And I was like, what am I, what do they do with my money? Like, I don't have any of it now. It, some of it went to savings, but it didn't really stay in savings. And so I'm like, what was I doing with that? Like, I know I moved amongst other things, but I'm just like, what happened to this money? Like, I did nothing memorable with it or anything fun with it, for one. And then that's probably maybe the, one of the worst parts is that I also didn't really have any bills back then either. I wasn't buying groceries like that. I wasn't buying it consistently. I think I was paying like $100 for rent or whatever, if even that. And so I'm just like, why was I not spending my own money? I mean, that's wild. During my last therapy session, one of my goals was to save money, including canceling subscriptions and mid-appointment. Mid Ooh, aw, cool. I feel like I've always been, like, very financially conscious, but in a way that has not actually been, like, actually good toward spending money. In a, like, for me, it's, like, difficult. Like, if I have to pay for something in a subscription, even if it's something that I would, like, want, I, like, am just, like, I don't want to do that. Like, I, it was, like, really difficult for me to justify we were living in, the, in our apartment but we also had no money last year and it was really hard for me to justify even just getting they had a special deal it was like get hulu and hbo max for $1.99 a month 
And I was like, so just like, I don't think I want to do that. I don't want to pay $2.13 a month for, you know, this, for this stuff. And I actually loved watching those, watching the different series and shit on there. And I really enjoyed it. But it was so, so difficult for me, for, for me to justify getting it. And I only got it because it was a limited time deal, um, obviously for like the new year or for Christmas or something like that, I don't remember. But it was a limited time deal. And so I took advantage of it. But if it was something that was like offered year round, I could definitely see myself not doing it. There's actually one thing I've been wanting to pay for for a while, which is like a subscription called One Password, which essentially is like uh, encrypts your passwords and kind of stores all of them for you. And I think it's something that would really help me. And also, you can get like a family plan where you have multiple users on it. And I was like, oh, that'd be really great. Like, I would love to have something like that. But it's like, what, maybe four bucks, nine dollars, 13. I don't remember. It's a couple dollars a month. And I just like, I don't know, in my brain, the idea of paying for that, I've just been like, mm, I don't know. Meanwhile, I've been paying like all my bills monthly, but also in addition to that, even longer, I've had links, which is essentially my like link aggregate site, essentially my website because I don't have a formal website. Um, I've used that for like honestly years at this point. Um, even when we were fundraising and shit and living in an apartment and homeless, I still had links up and like I've been using links for a while and I'm still paying for that like $4, but also it's a pretty low amount. So I'm feeling like, okay about it. But I mean... I'm okay with it personally, but it's just like something I have to come to terms with is like not being afraid to spend money and not being afraid of like, I don't know, somehow falling to financial ruin. That has not happened yet. And we've been in like truly some ruinous positions financially, like have, but yet like, you know, still, still persisting and shit. And so, yeah, something I'm trying to like work on and shit, but also like truly just at this point, trying to desperately hold on to things I do have and not, you know, become homeless again and lose my home. And so, like, that's something I'm trying to, like, kind of my main, the main anxiety-inducing factor that has really justified me not buying things. Like, a couple weeks ago, a month ago, I was really, really wanting to buy, not this song, girl. Where's the hype music? Okay, cool. Um, but I was really, really wanting to buy some clothes from Torrid. And then one of my coworkers mentioned Klarna, and because Torrid offers Klarna, yeah. And also PayPal apparently has a pay later option, too, whatever. But I was like, oh, I really want to get some clothes. I and mean, I really do need more clothes. And so what if I, you know, I want to do this. And then I mean, a couple of things popped up, like bills, amongst other things that we needed to pay for. But I was like, I never did get those clothes. I never did like check out and stuff. All these items are on clearance, limited quantities. Also, Tord is weird and sell out of a lot of different sizes very quickly. And so it's like last items, last sale, you know, limited time coupon codes. And I was really wanting to get it, but I never did. I probably honestly could and should now, but I always tell myself, oh, I'll wait till my next paycheck or whatever. Like, I'm definitely a chronic, I uh, don't want to spend money or person. Like, a chronic, I'm afraid of spending too much. And so I'm just going to, which I don't spend anything, which is why it's so weird, but um, like being afraid to spend money. And so I just like, will put it off into, oh, my connection is really, really low. Hey, 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 bump those kilobytes back up. What the heck? Oh god, it's in the red. Uh oh, I'm dropping a lot of frames. That's not good. Yeah, yeah, go back up. Oh god. Do you want the stream pause? Should I refresh? Oh god. Ah oh, damn it. Why my connection been so ass today? Wow. Like, as soon as I went live, it immediately did not want to be live. I was actually considering just like, honestly canceling and just ending the stream and shit, but, like, man, having such a horrible connection really makes me feel so much better about that decision. <laughs> yeah, like, barely being able to stream while being live is making me feel like I really made the right decision there. <laughs> no, not... Hold on. <laughs> 